uh, stat, stat list can be created uh, from statistics right click and uh, create stat list and then you must select some of these numbers by right clicking stat list you can find all the statistical numbers here and uh, now we are interested of uh, percentage of these uh, positive cells so let's select H2 percent of these and in fact we are now interested of uh, their median value intensity so let's select that also and now when jumping forward in the directory you can see that uh, this uh, stat list collects all the time uh, the statistical numbers, only those uh, selected statistical numbers to the list. And this can be then copied to clipboard and uh, pasted to some uh, other softwares or tools. And uh, then if uh, you want to visualize your data as well played, then you select here show as 96 well played like this and now when you uh, jump forward or backward it will put the data into the correct position like this and uh, it requires that the data has been run uh, from well played and uh, the data file contains the information about this well played it's not standard keyword in flowchart metric data files so if uh, your data stacks into the A1 column, that means that uh, 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 it doesn't have proper uh, information about this well or flowing software is not able to read it. But uh, if you send your data file into the uh, uh, our development team, then we are able to correct this problem. And uh, then you can always, if um, if it, this is in a, in a well played mode, you can have only one number selected. If you have several, then only first one uh, is selected; others are ignored. And always, when you change this, then um, this has been zeroed. And then because we have the percentage values uh, that uh, that would be nice to get a heat map so we can visualize easily that the which uh, wells have the positives and and which we have don't have so right click and heat map by default it's disabled but uh, you can define the range so you can uh, by this way you can define what is the minimum and maximum and because we have the percentage values then it's, it makes sense to put uh, from 0 to 100. Haha. <laughs> and now let's jump forward, 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 forward and now you can see that the color from green to red reflects the percentage value and this by this way we can get the nice visualization about your data.